I love gaming. That's a phrase I have never heard someone say in 2019, unless there's someone that still likes Fortnite or is a 12 year old that actually thinks that loot boxes are a good idea. Companies that create games especially right now, are dropping the ball really hard. I've highlighted this in the past with previous videos, and I'm gonna continue to because companies are only fucking up even more. We have Anthem. <laughs> we have The Division 2, which I know some people can argue that that is actually a good game. It's not. It's The Division 1.5. It was the game that it should have been, except they somehow made it even worse than the original game when they fucked it up like two months after the game came out. Remember when EA and Activision a couple months ago laid off a shit ton of employees? You also remember how Activision did that right after they were bragging about having an all-time high with uh, making revenue? Well, EA decided to uh, lay off another 350 employees. <laughs> Thank you, EA. You're such a good company. Keep it up. Also, I just want to point out, I know a lot of people don't like this game. World of Warcraft is at a, uh, at a it's at an all-time low. BFA, or Battle for Azeroth, the current expansion, is probably the worst expansion that there has ever been. There was an estimate or like a leak where they have about 2 million subscribers. For comparison, whenever the expansion launched, they had about 12 million plus subscribers. They're making more money with 2 million subscribers because they're just throwing a bunch of microtransaction bullshit that you can't even actually work towards. The only enjoyment or effort or skill that you have from getting these shop mounts is the effort of pulling out your shitty fucking credit card to conduct even more debt because you're dumb as hell. How are you making more money when there's only 2 million people subscribed to your shitty game instead of when you had 12 million? It shows the direction of these companies. It shows how they're willing to drop the ball so fucking terribly because they think we're jokes. Battlefield 5 actually finally just released their new Battle Royale. Wow, that's going well. A shitty game where they tried to push uh, an agenda and rewrite history. They finally decide to hop on the Fortnite bandwagon a year and a half later after the game came out or some shit. You're really fucking smart. Black Ops 4 is apparently doing microtransactions where in order to get a specific new item in the game, you have to buy a bundle. You know those stupid fucking COD points? The thing that you would use to get skins, you know, loot boxes? that shitty mechanic, gambling mechanic in a video game. You have to spend like 20 bucks in order to get this hammer and that's the only way to get the specific new item in the game. You guys remember the good old days when you just had to get headshots and actually get kills and you know, put time and effort into the game and have to have skill in order to unlock these skins Remember when shit was rewarding? I barely do because I have amnesia or some shit, but goddamn, do I miss it. All of this that I'm talking about now, <laughs> all of this is just to show the newest game that was just announced. Now, before people get pissed, because I can see a lot of people are getting hyped for this game now, I'm solely just judging how the company presented this game, releasing it for the first time, saying, hey, we have a new game. I've seen the trailer and a lot of the art looks really cool. There's a lot of hype around the game, but trailers, not really seeing that much gameplay, if any at all, just seeing the typical bullshit that companies throw out to try to get us to buy the game essentially. I'm still gonna shit on them because this has to be the literal worst game announcement I have ever seen in my life. Oh that oh did that <laughs> Jeez, Are we good? That yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. We'll have the guardian angel kick it off. Wake up, Vault Hunter. I'll explain everything soon, but know this. You're alive for a reason, and I am here to help you. Thanks help for the juice. Help you witness these world premieres. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Randy, may I please have another frame, sir? <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, oh. You weren't. <laughs> the, the, the video file itself is corrupted. Please kill me, then. We went from companies tricking us into having really good trailers for their games, simulations of gameplay where they actually have good graphics and explosions and shit that we want in a video game. Companies evolving to just straight up lying to us, saying how we're going to get this and that. We buy the game. Oh yeah, it'll come out in like two years. And now companies are so cheap and so fucked in the head. They probably hired someone from like Fiverr. I just genuinely can't understand. I can't comprehend how something can go that badly. 
Videos to start. My type of thing. My type of intro, dude. Hunter, I'll explain everything soon, but know this. You're alive for a reason. And I am here to help you. Help you witness these world premieres. So, you want to hear a story, huh? <laughs> XQCL Craigasm. <laughs> Man, I love that the story, but. Let's try that again. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to hear a story, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is testing your equipment or at least checking to see if the file actually fucking works? Is that not a thing anymore? Maybe it's easy to get a job at th these companies now. Make a little bit of money before they go out of business. Again, I'm not trying to judge the game itself, but let's be honest. We've had a lot of upsets and disappointments in 2019. 2019 has been one of the worst years for gaming. I have said it a lot. I sound like a broken record, but there's a reason why. Anthem had a really good trailer. A lot of people were hyped for the game. I even played the alpha and the beta. I uploaded a video. I look like a dumbass only uploading a video of me playing the beta and talking about the game and then proceeding to not upload anything anthem wise at all except shitting on the game. The Division 2, eh, some people like the game but for the most part it's trash. Do you see where I'm getting at? The consumers in the gaming industry are very... We're fucked. We've been shit on by companies left and right for how many years now? It's just been getting worse and worse every year. So when a multi-million or even multi-billion dollar company drops the ball with showcasing their new game, a triple-A title that millions of people love, and you fuck up that hard, that just shows like the mindset of these companies. Who's controlling the actual game and the future of gaming in general? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Originally, I was gonna make this video just fully shitting on Borderlands. The people who make Borderlands. But as I was making this video, I, I just wanted to use them as the main example. Like anything else in any other industry, whenever a lot of people or the mass majority figure out, oh, there's a lot of money to be made here, a lot of shit comes in, and it's a lot harder to filter through that and find the really good game. Same thing with YouTube. Ever since a lot of people figured out, oh, YouTubers are becoming rich and famous, now there's a lot of shit channels. There's still good channels out there, it's just a lot harder to filter through the cookie cutter bullshit. It's an unfortunate thing with the human race, we're all just trying to make money and make a living. The thing that will eventually happen is businesses will continue to, I guess, die out. EA is having a massive issue right now. The only reason EA is even still a thing is because of Apex. I feel like for a lot of us over the years, the consumers of gaming, we have to be a lot more skeptical and careful of how we spend our money. Back in the day when you saw like a hyped or cool trailer for a new game, you knew that shit was gonna be amazing. That's just not how it is anymore. And I feel like a lot of us are getting really tired of this bullshit. So hopefully Borderlands 3 is fun. I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on it yet. When it comes out, uh, I, I guess I'll have one then. Please be good. We need a good game. <laughs> Moral of the story is fuck Minecraft.